Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be looking at uh, CB5, SB5 immunisation or vaccination and we're going to be looking at an exam question walkthrough. Okay, so the question is, Clostridium tetani is a bacterium that can be found in soil. It causes an infection, tetanus. Children are vaccinated against tetanus. Explain why these children do not get tetanus if their bacteria enter the body through a cut in the skin. Okay, so let's have a look at what they told us. Clostridium tetani. Now, that's quite a complicated Latin name there for the bacterium. Um, you wouldn't have come across that before, but they do this quite often. They'll give you an unfamiliar bacterium, an unfamiliar infection, and expect you to apply your knowledge. So you don't need to worry too much about not knowing what that is at the moment. It then goes on to explain that it is an, um, a bacterium that causes an infection. It names that infection, but ultimately we're talking about an infection. It then says that they are vaccinated against it. So actually what we're now looking at is a question about vaccinations. Explain our command word. Why? These children do not get the infection if the bacteria enters the body. Okay, so remember the key thing to include if there is the word explain is word because it helps you, uh, forces you into explaining what uh, your answer means. Okay, so let's have a little look at how we structure this answer. It's worth three marks. Okay, so ideally, the first thing that you'd want to do is explain what vaccinations are, show them that you know what that word means. So, first step would be what is a vaccination? Okay, what response does that cause in the body? And then the final mark would be actually your explanation then well how does this stop them getting tetanus okay so how does it prevent tetanus okay what i'd like you to do now is pause the video and have a go at answering that Okay, so let's have a little look at how I would have answered this question, and you can compare it to your answer. So for the first mark, I would say, vaccinations are usually an injection. Sometimes you might be given some sort of medicine orally through your mouth, uh, but usually it's an injection. So vaccinations are usually an injection containing... a dead or weakened version of the bacteria that's going to cause this, like this. What does that do to the body? Okay, so they cause memory lymphocytes, so a key term here to include, to be produced by the body, which can produce antibodies to fight the infection. Okay, so now, how does this prevent the infection? This prevents infection because if the person or the child was ever to be exposed the bacteria the body will be able to respond by 
fighting off the infection. Great, so each of those bullet points would have been awarded one mark. How does that compare to yours? Okay, what I'd like to do now is show you an exemplar answer and show you how the examiner um, viewed that question. Okay, so exactly the same question. There's a little bit of information up here. You might want to pause uh, and have a little read through that, but that talks about generally how did uh, candidates across the country answer that question. Um, so if you want to pause that now and have a little read through. Okay, so this is the response. Because when a child gets vaccinated, memory lymphocytes, okay, we talked about memory lymphocytes, are produced so that when the pathogen enters the body, your body knows what antibodies to produce. So it's talking about this production of antibodies, which we talked about too. These antibodies attach themselves to the pathogen's antigens and act as a marker so that white blood cells can then find and destroy them. So they've actually gone into talking about the actual uh, immune response. The secondary response is also very fast and occurs before the symptoms occur. So a lot more scientific um, terminology in here, but generally is that the same sort of thing that we just talked about. So we've talked about getting a vaccination. We've talked about memory lymphocytes, antibodies, and talking about fighting off or uh, attacking them. So this response shows a good understanding of the principles of vaccination and three marks were awarded. The key points in the answer are the production of memory lymphocytes, which we talked about, production of antibodies, which we talked about, uh, and the idea that they attach to the bacteria uh, or the antigens on the bacteria. So my response didn't actually have that, so that would be actually another key point to include. Uh, however, my response did have this, so remember that a vaccine may contain dead or inactive bacteria uh, or antigens. So although in my response we didn't talk about uh, the antigens on the actual bacteria, I would have got my third mark from this point here. Okay, how did your answer compare to those? Thank you very much for watching.